Hey, this is Phil from 4Education. Welcome back to our intro to morphology. Today we will talk about word formation, also known as derivation in the broad sense. And this is subdivided into two types, concatenative and non-concatenative word formation. Concatenative, as the name pretty much says, is the adding of morphemes. In non-concatenative word formation, no morphemes are added. And let's start with concatenative word formation. And this also has two subtypes, derivation and compounding. So derivation here in the narrow sense. Derivation in narrow sense is the adding of a derivation morpheme. So again, an affix to a base. And this now creates a new lexeme in contrast to inflection. So it changes the part of speech and or the meaning. Here are a few examples. Ness changes an adjective to a noun, for example, good, goodness, happy, happiness. Able changes a verb to an adjective, drinkable and usable. And here you can also see that it changes the meaning because it expresses that it is possible to do the action with something. You can use something that is usable. Un and D give us the opposite. So they don't change the part of speech, but they change the meaning healthy, unhealthy, compose, decompose, and in turn something into the, the described property again. And this again changes both part of speech and meaning. So enlarge, make something large, and enslave means to turn someone into a slave. Okay, let's look at one example. Let's look at how internationalizing is created. We start with the root nation, which is also the base and apply the derivational suffix L and get national. Then inter, a derivational prefix, is applied to national, the base. It's not a root anymore because it's complex. It can be subdivided as we just saw into nation and all. And then we get international. To international, the base, we apply I's, the derivational suffix, and get internationalize. And finally, ing, an inflectional suffix is applied to internationalize. It's a base and also a stem because it's now used in inflection. And then we get internationalizing. The second type of concatenative word formation is compounding. In compounding, we combine three morphemes. There are two different subtypes, endocentric compounds. Here we have a subtype of a named head. So for example, a houseboat is a special type of boat we have a subtype of a concept with certain additional properties. Exocentric compounds are all those where we don't have a subtype of some named head. And there are two subtypes of exocentric compounds. Possessive compounds denote a feature of something that is unnamed. There's no named head, so a redneck describes a person, and it's not a type of neck, right? A copulative compound is one that is made out of the parts, so to say. So both parts are semantically on the same level. There's no subsumption relation. Bittersweet, for example, is something that is equally bitter and sweet. Sleepwalk is equally a type of sleep as it is a type of walk. Here are a few more examples of compounds. Deaf mute is a copulative compound because someone who's deaf mute is equally deaf as he is mute. Lazy bones is a possessive compound because it describes a person and it's not a type of bone. Caveman is an endocentric compound because a caveman is a type of man. A singer-songwriter is copulative because a singer-songwriter is equally a singer as he is a songwriter. A dark room is again endocentric as it's a type of room. Bartender psychologist is copulative Chess table is endocentric, it's a type of table, and a pale face is again possessive, it describes a person. Finally, let's look at non-concatenative word formation. There are three subtypes, conversion, clipping, and blending. Conversion is a change in part of speech without change in word form. So for example, to party, the verb, becomes the party, the noun. 
green as the adjective becomes the green, the noun as in golf. And clipping is the shortening of longer words by clipping the front and or the back. So airplane becomes plane, this is front clipping, advertisement becomes ad, back clipping, and influenza becomes flu. This is a case of front and back clipping. And finally, there's blending, which is the combination of two or more words by really blending them together. So motor and hotel form motel and smoke and fog form smog. So that's it for this week. Please subscribe if you want to see more educational videos from us. I'm Phil from 4Education and I will see you next time.